Hey, it's K-Town, and I want to welcome everybody for joining us for another episode of Same-Sex Dialogue. If this is your first time joining us, we want to welcome you. This is episode 22, The X Factor. Here we go. Are you ready? Sit down, turn off the TV, and get ready to laugh your ass off. Because it's time for the Same Sex Dialogue Podcast, where you'll hear the most entertaining discussions about gay topics, current events, and news. Now, here are your hosts, K-Town and the super sexy fashionista, Kim Style. podcast we are here today you know what i bet every lesbian on the planet is gonna be able to relate to our show today absolutely i know they can because i've dealt with it you've dealt with it the whole lesbian world is dealt with i have majorly <laughs> dealt Probably the whole with heterosexual this. world everybody's dealt with you know, exes. You know what? I'm glad we're actually talking about lesbians today. Yeah. We've talked about transgender people. We've talked about bisexuals. We've talked about gay men. I know. We need to do um, it's time. our lesbian show. It's so. time we give the lesbians. You said lesbians. To <laughs> something to chew on out there. <laughs> I know, I know. And but you know what prompted this was that email that I'm going to get to in a second. Yeah. And I thought, oh, this is going to be juicy because I have a story. And, hmm, a lot of people have stories about yeah, this issue. I have, we have a good story, as a matter mm-hmm. of fact. Mm-hmm. I have some stories, but we don't have much time. <laughs> you always have stories when we talk about exes. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious. But I've, I've had a interesting... Uh, history with my exes. Hmm. You know what? And I've heard them all. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'd like to know what, n- not that this is going to happen, what? but if I were your ex, what uh-huh. would you say about me? That's not the oh, email, I'd be by stalking the way. You. <laughs> You'd be stalking me. You'd turn into that crazy ex stalker. I'd be stalking you. You know, I don't know. I mean, you, you would be hard to get over. You really would be. I mean, I don't, I don't know. It just my I own would. personal stalker. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would, You're but funny. I know you. You would punish me. When you see me out. You come out looking as good I as you possibly have could. On, first of all, my face would be beat to death with makeup. <laughs> I'd have on the shortest skirt possible. See, you wrong for that. I, listen, that's, that's not and being no panties. <laughs> I would just be shy of going to prison. Mm-hmm. The you highest wrong. heels I could actually walk across the floor in. You wrong for that. Mm-hmm. You are wrong for that because what am I supposed to do? Mm-hmm. I'm I supposed to have, ignore you. I'd have my cle- <laughs> I'd be wearing my cleavage as earrings. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Ignore you? I'd have everything jacked to Jesus, and you know that. I know you would. And you know Just I'm like coming. I am today. I'd you be know I'd be Jesus. coming for you. Don't you? <laughs> no, you wouldn't. You're too proud. I would come. I'm too proud. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm not. Not for me? No, not for Aww. you, honey. Not for you. Aww. But I know how some women play it's not fair because I don't play it, when you break up, that's the time when you try to look your very best. Mm-hmm. And I know you would do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know you mm-hmm. would do that to me. Yep. You smell best. You have, you know. You have that bomb on that mm-hmm, I love, flower mm-hmm. bomb, you know. And <laughs> that is your favorite, isn't it? It is. No matter what I buy. That will you buckle always my, that go buckles back to flower my knee. Bomb. <laughs> I'll always keep a bottle of that, and you know I will. Flower bomb is, um, it, it does something to me. It weakens I, I you in the knees. I never smelled it on a woman until you. I know when I want, you know, to... Get your credit card or your wallet. <laughs> I just spray on the flower bomb. <laughs> you wrong. You are wrong. You no, are I'm wrong. just really smart. I don't look smart, but I am. You wrong. You know. <laughs> so, um, guys, who want to welcome you to another episode? And like I said, if you, um, you know, this is your first time uh, joining us, who want to welcome you and hope that you'll stick with us. 
we uh, encourage you to go back and listen to some of our previous shows. I'm sure you you will enjoy those. Mm -hmm. You can subscribe to us on iTunes. You can also um, get our shows on our website, Same Sex Dialogue, which I encourage you you to go over there and look at that we've revamped it it's very nice you did a great job by the way thank you it looks good it looks really really good and we Um, have our own app yep we have our own app it is on the google play store it is free you will get push notifications uh when we are going live so you can interact with us um during our live shows so what else oh i wanted to mention that some of our listeners well you know what we've had like a different we've had a change in like um our listeners where they're coming from so the last time i checked uh we've gotten a lot of listeners from london shout out to london yeah (laughs) guys that are listening to us for london we do appreciate that and hope you continue to do that and then i've seen monticello florida Mm-hmm. I seen. I saw um, India. India was on there. It was like right up under United Kingdom. Wow. And then South Africa. Unbelievable. And then um, let's see here in the United States, um, California, San Francisco, and also Los Angeles, New Jersey, New Jersey, yeah, New York City, um, even in uh, Oklahoma. There's a huge spike in Oklahoma. I don't know That's what's going on in Oklahoma. Awesome. We appreciate the love. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's right under Knoxville, actually. Oklahoma is Knoxville, Oklahoma. Oh, Memphis. Oh, you guys out in Memphis, we do appreciate you. Yes, so. we do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're so crazy, you know what? Yes, I do. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, everybody that has uh, been able to capture our shows from wherever we do appreciate it also we got on i heart radio yeah, you have worked so hard on that baby thank you hey you're welcome and man. the five star rate um reviews and ratings i'm sure that's helped us thank you guys for going to itunes and giving it us really a five has. star review yes. rating whatever they call it i don't know <laughs> so <laughs> i don't care what they call it iTunes, as long as they yes. do it also if you go on to i heart is especially difficult to get on there they don't have a lot of podcasts so for them to uh, approve us and mm-hmm. approve our show to be on there is an honor we do appreciate it yeah, iHeartRadio is a huge uh, company they have like 50 something million um, subscribers wow. um, if you are an iHeart fan go on to their app you can download their app and you can catch our show that way as well so Perfect. rate us and you can five star go, rate us yeah. by the way <laughs> give us a thumbs up on there you can comment on our shows and whatnot so Yay. uh anyway honey what have you been doing today oh i got up and i did about two hours of yoga you did i gotta get my yoga on mm-hmm. i noticed you've been um <clears throat> there's a new guy on youtube that you're listening to every morning i've noticed yeah yeah because you, uh, when I try to talk you into getting back in the bed, you won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening to something on YouTube, but and then it's the I same got guy up, every time. I did two hours of yoga, and then I got back in bed with you. <laughs> and then we did dun da dun So what you complaining about? <laughs> I'm not complaining, babe. <laughs> I'm not complaining at all. <laughs> I put it on that this morning. <laughs> yeah, you did. You did. <laughs> I'm done with you. You know it. Um, who is that guy, though, that you're listening to on YouTube? Is it a, a oh. spiritual leader, or who is he? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you know, I'm always listening to spiritual stuff, anything inspirational. Uh, actually, I can't think of his name right now, but, you know. You must really love him. I do really him like him. You thought I was listening to a podcast, but I'm listening to just how to get – you know, my spirit's in a better place always. Yeah, and yeah. Okay. To be happy I love it. and be a better, you know, wifey, yeah. be a better oh, I love it. personal trainer, <laughs> be a better neighbor, <laughs> be a better driver. <laughs> it's hard sometimes. It is hard to be, be a, a good driver. driver. Are you serious? How are you most careful person I've ever seen in my life? What? You really are. No. You're always getting on to me about driving. I do. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> You're what they call backseat driver. What? <laughs> You're a good you driver, are... though. 
but honey, sometimes but you get really on to me slow. about driving. Because you're Especially really Especially when slow. I was going to Florida, remember? He was like, why are you going so fast? Oh. I don't, honey, oh. you're scaring me. I was okay. like, we, you know, we're trying to get there. Oh. Most of the time you don't get on to me about stuff, but if I'm going a little bit too fast, you'll say something. Too fast or too slow. Find the happy medium, baby. That's all I ask. Find a happy medium. Find a medium. happy medium? Okay. <laughs> all right. I'll find a happy medium. Do you just do anything I ask? Yes. See why I want to marry you? Now? Yes, I do. Huh? As long as you do whatever I tell you in the bedroom. <laughs> is that the is that the uh, playoff? That's the trade off. Trade off. That's the trade off. It's trade off. Okay. All right. So okay. Um, anyway, um, do you have an email for today? Yes, I, I do. I tell you what. Let's do. Hold on a minute. I have a new segment. That's right. Kim has a new segment, and here it goes. It's our rant of the day. <laughs> Right. Okay, so ladies <laughs> or gentlemen, my rant of the day is going to be, we're going to talk about that big white rectangular sticker that you leave on the bottom of your shoe. <laughs> <laughs> that, my dear, is a price tag. <laughs> Please take it off. Who have you? you seen someone- what a fashion faux pas. Take it off. I have actually seen, say, movie stars uh-huh. or, you know, just start, like, uh, can we say names? You can say names. I saw Rihanna in an interview. She uh-huh. was sitting down. She might have been on Wendy Williams' show or something. Yeah. She crossed her legs and her foot's, you know, going back and forth. Uh-huh. She has the price tag on the bottom of her shoe. I'm like, true. girl, take that off. <laughs> okay. Maybe I should do... A, a YouTube video on how to take it off. It's either rubbing alcohol uh-huh. or vinegar. We'll take that right off. Or here's another little hack. What? If you just hit it with a hot hairspray, uh-huh. it'll melt the glue that keeps it on. You can uh-huh. spill it right off. What do you mean off. hot hairspray? I'm sorry, hot hair dryer. Hair dryer, okay. Hair dryer. Okay. Hit it with a hair dryer. Uh-huh. It kind of melts the glue that keeps it on. Okay, it'll peel it peels right off. Right off. Ladies, take it off. It's not attractive. It's well, not pretty. We, it's not cute. <laughs> Rihanna was probably just being lazy that day. So. She has stylists. <laughs> I have to take my own stickers off the bottom of my shoe. Or I ask you very nicely and you do it for me. <laughs> You're so crazy. You know it that. does come off. It is a price tag. Please take it off. It's not pretty. Babe, you notice every little thing But especially about, about shoes. Everybody. You know how I'm about I'm shoes. I'm serious. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Time out. Time out. Time out. You remember we was watching, um, what, what was we watching? With, um, what was it that on Bravo, it's the after show. Oh, with, with um, oh gosh, Andy Cohen? Yeah, Andy Cohen, uh-huh. right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Watch that. And we've already talked about Ter- Miss Teresa who just got out of prison, but you <laughs> noticed something about <laughs> Oh, God, her earlobes. You, you said, wait a minute. It was. It I had was, to rewind. I said, did you see her earlobes? It looks like a butt crack. For so long. <laughs> <laughs> she has the money. Sew them up. Okay. You, can, you can fix that. Can you fix it? Yes, you can just kind of stitch it. Go to a plastic surgeon and stitch it. Stitch it. But I swear her earlobes, uh, where her pierced ear mm-hmm. rings are, the piercing is so long. It looked like a butt crack. Yeah, it really did. <laughs> I was like, your earlobes look like a butt crack. Oh, no, stop it. Stop. <laughs> but that wasn't my rant. My rant was about the sticker on the bottom of your shoe. I know, but my point is, you know, you notice everything. So, yeah, I can see I'm how that. I'm a detailed person. Well, yeah, you are. You are a detailed person. And when, especially with female etiquette, you notice if mm-hmm. a woman's not conducting herself in a ladylike fashion or whatnot. Oh, Lord, because what I don't always conduct myself in a Maybe ladylike manner. you do. Man. I mean, no, I don't. You know, well, you're you're more aware of, like, when, say, you're at the bar. Give, give an example. Like, when we were at a bar mm-hmm. and you have a way where you like to posture yourself, right? I call it perch. <laughs> On the stool. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I cross my perch. legs. I point my toe towards the floor. Right. And oh. you do. You do. <laughs> you perch yourself. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people don't do that. And you uh, notice when someone is slumped over. Yes. Yes. And you, 
you know, sometimes we <laughs> laugh a lot. <laughs> Just towards each other. We don't I know, really I like know, I know. Anything, but, but, you know, I know, I never really noticed that. But you're like, oh, my God, her, no wonder her posture is so bad because she's that's how, yeah. slumped over like that. So mm-hmm. I always check my posture and check my shoes and my outfit and my hair. And I'm just that way. And, and it's called being OCD. Uh, yeah, I know it is. That's I all know. that is. I but know, I, know. I love that. I mean, I love being that way. And um, I love when you're that way because I noticed you with a quickness that night (laughs) when we met because you were so properly perched. Well, let me just tell you what the other day when I said when I was frustrated once again about being waiting on you. (laughs) And I said, I don't want to wait anymore. You know what you said to me? I w- I've waited on you for 15 years. That's exactly right. You made right. me feel about two inches tall. <laughs> I did. I said, I wait on you 15 years. You can't even wait on me 30 minutes. 30 minutes is too long. <laughs> Babe. My makeup but, starts melting after 30 minutes. I'm getting a lot better at that, though. You are. Abs- huh. You ac- absolutely are. Come on now. Give me some credit. I, you are. You are. You're getting so much better. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're right. stepping up, baby. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so what email do you have for us today? Okay, enough enough ranting. I'll have another one next time. Okay, uh, you know what? This email actually brought the subject, the X Factor, today. Okay. Dear, oh, this is for you, babe, but I'm sure that I'll have my two cents worth in. Dear K-Town, I just came out and ha- um, and have dating someone I really like but she is still friends with her ex. How should I deal with this? Cheyenne from London. Oh. <laughs> huh, I'm going to let you answer first. You're going to let me answer? Yes. Well, Cheyenne, it's okay for people to be, you know, a- friends with their exes, don't you think, K-Town? Uh, it's not always, No. <laughs> under okay if under, only um, if what the, go ahead go if ahead. if both of them are totally over right. each other absolutely That's and it a, takes time for that especially for girls right right however <laughs> <laughs> if if uh-huh. even one of them still has feelings especially the ex if the mm. ex still has feelings for your new lover it's going to be nothing but turmoil. Yeah, you're right. Believe me, I went through it. Yeah, and it was okay. my first. Okay, right. go ahead. That's right. You're right, and yep. that's that's um, the reason why you know we we're going to have this show because it's you know I've dealt with it, you've dealt with it, mm-hmm. but on on the short and sweet answer for it for me is only if both uh, people are truly over each other Mm -hmm. then you can come back and be friends um not immediately after not yes you have to you have to do well (laughs) you are there's only one that you because all your exes are still in love with you except for (laughs) except for you and ari's mom yes you all are co-parenting together however this was not the case in my situation um it was my first lesbian relationship Uh And we're going to talk about that in just a moment because <laughs> it is a good story. <laughs> it's a good story. It is good. It is good. Thank you for that question. And if you guys have more questions like that, feel free to email those to us because they give us some show ideas, actually. Give so, them the email address, babe. Um, if you get back to us at um, podcast at samesexdialogue.com. You can submit your questions there. You can find that email address on our website, samesexdialogue.com. Okay? Or so, on Facebook. Yeah, on Facebook as well. Go on there and, and uh, like our Facebook page, which is Same Sex Dialogue. Just type that in. A picture will pop up. Get on there and hit the like button. Also, invite your friends to like our page as well. We yes. will appreciate that. Yes, please and thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, so for... The X Factor. Okay, so the show that we're going to be, or the things we're going to be talking about today for the show are situations where for lesbians, um, they, a lot of times they end up remaining friends with their ex. And you, and 
you know, just like you seen, like I seen, they don't always give time to get over that person. They feel like it, that has to be immediately after the relationship right. ends. Do you feel that way? No, no. You have to give it time. You have to heal those wounds. And you have to, especially if one or the one that didn't want the breakup, uh-huh. they have to heal from right, it. Right, right. And possibly move on to someone else. Right. Um, Why do you think it's more prevalent with lesbians? Well, I think that lesbians do form a friendship during a I relationship. Do too. I do too, yes, yes. And I think if the romantic part ends or the relationship part ends, they don't want to lose that friendship. Right. And as you get older, it's harder and harder to make new friends. Right. And you're familiar and you're comfortable with that person. Yeah. So, and, you know, you have a lot of history with that person. Yeah. And, yeah, you do that if you're in a straight relationship. But it's different with girls. And we talked about this in another episode. Yeah. Women just bond easier. Yeah, they do bond easier. But you know what? And think about this. What about lesbian bed death, right? So say someone, especially I think it, it is more prevalent when someone has been with somebody for a long time mm-hmm. and they have gradually stopped having sex anyway. Then it becomes like a friendship. So if they ever decide to get out of that situation, they they remain friends because – it was almost like a, a friendship to begin with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it almost was, just like being a roommate. Yeah, just being a roommate. So why would they... A roommate that you cuddle with. <laughs> 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 right? But it's true. That's true. That's true. So I think in that case, that's interesting, though. You know, yeah. that, that I've actually known um, lesbians been together for a very long time. Of course, they stopped having sex years ago. And it they, is not uncommon. It's not uncommon, right? It's very, very common, mm-hmm. as a matter of fact. Um, but they choose not to leave the re- relationship anyway because they're comfortable. But if one decides to, they often remain friends. And But in their mind, it's okay. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They don't see any reason to stop being friends. Oh, I see what you're saying. <clears throat> um, but I, I mean, a lot of lesbians are still friends with a lot of their exes if not all of their exes you are not i certainly I mean, you I'm, are I'm just, you're different i'm different i'm i'm not and i don't see a reason to be because for one i would not want to make okay let me ask you this on the show right here right now would it bother you besides you know i'm co-parenting with my ex right now and it's purely because of mutual love for our son right mm-hmm. i know this would it bother you if I was friends with my exes? Um, because most of your exes are still in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> you are so crazy. It's you know, true. It's true, I don't know and that. you know. Well, they I don't act know. that way. They're they. It's how they seem when we run out into yeah. them, say at Pride yeah. Fest or something. Yeah. And if they were like, if they were totally over you, and it was, and they were in love with their relationship now. I think I would be fine with it. Mm-hmm. But knowing that they would take you back in a New York minute, no, I would not be okay with that. Even though I trust you, I don't trust females. Okay, that's it's, interesting. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it's not me, right, B? It's not you. I trust you with all of me. And I trust you wholeheartedly. It's other women and your exes that are still in love with you that... I don't trust. Okay, I get that. Because I've been through that mm-hmm. before, and I don't want to do that again. And yeah. it was my first relationship. I was so new and green to everything. I thought everybody had their exes <laughs> all up in their <laughs> shit all the time. <laughs> I'm serious. I know. I just I know. thought that's that's the way it was. I was like, oh, God, it's really different. Okay, let's in talk a, about that. Let, let, I, in my mind, I was thinking it's really different in a lesbian relationship. Uh-huh. It's not. It was wrong. And I know you didn't know that at the time. Yeah. But it was dead ass wrong. All right, so go ahead and just tell me, or tell the you know tell, I know that tell tell our fans what you mean by that. I'm, okay, in your situation, you don't have to name names, but what happened with that? Well, you know, I met someone and we got together and we dated and we lived together, but the whole time, 
her ex was still in love with her and she caused problems. She would, you know, butt in our relationship. She would tell her to leave me. And because my girlfriend broke up with this person, she felt guilty. Right. She had this guilty conscience that she mm. her, she had moved her here from another, you know, state and mm. uprooted her. So uh-huh. she felt obligated. Obligated to, okay. okay. To, you know, be kind and nice and befriend her all the uh-huh. time. Be You know, believe what she said. And this girl would make up lies about me. I was like, if you really believe that I'm going to play footsies, first of all, with anybody <laughs> underneath the table at Hooters. <laughs> you don't need to be with me. Right. <laughs> Is that what she said you would do? Yeah. Yeah. But she tried to make her believe that. It's just, <laughs> that is so juvenile to me. That's something I oh, might have done. just making stuff, just pulling straws, grasping yeah. at straws. Yeah. That's funny. And it was just, it was just an ongoing battle with her mm-hmm. ex all the time. Mm-hmm. And can I just tell you, being away from that relationship, mm-hmm. it's almost like a bird out of a cage because mm-hmm. you and I have no stress about exes whatsoever in our life. It's the first, let me tell you something, the first time I've ever in my life not had that type of stress. And it's it it just puts a lot of strain on whoever you're with right now. Mm-hmm. And it's something I, I don't want. I mm-hmm. stay away from it. You know, as far as I'm concerned, I don't even play like that. Like, I don't even want a woman to even think or get the wrong idea that I'm interested in her. Because you know me, i shut that shit down in a minute. I know, and I love that about you. But you won't um, entertain that at all. I won't entertain it. I will not entertain it. And as long as I have admittedly wanted to be with you or see, you know, what was up with you, I've never... Uh, inserted myself in your relationship because it's you just not did. who I am you in, never as did. a person. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I, I didn't want you like that. I don't want your love like that. I don't yeah. want to do that. So You, you know, that's so admirable because so many people came at me even during that relationship. I believe it. I believe it. So I um, believe it. Yeah. And you know what? <laughs> i tell you another reason why I think women – or lesbians try to remain friends. Honestly, truly, <laughs> everybody got it. You have to admit this. Can I guess? <laughs> no, I'm gonna let you go ahead. Go to on. keep tabs. That's right. To yeah. keep tabs. I think so too. They want to keep tabs on who they're with, mm-hmm. and you know, um, it's kind of compet. You know, a competitive thing. Yeah, it's a competitive but thing. They want to compete. Oh, I'm doing yes. better than you. No, uh, oh, I'm she, doing better. Oh wait. <laughs> oh, she's downgrade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, she really down, or she's scraping the bottom of the barrel right but now. But it is kind of nice when you see your ex. Admit it. And what? That they downgraded <laughs> big time. <laughs> Especially when they tell you, she's no you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you and I had that. Well, let me tell you something. You were with me. I'm just going to go ahead and t- say this, that we went out. Was it on New Year's Day? Yes, we, you and I had been together a, about a year and two months. Okay, a year and two months. Because the first New Year's Eve we were uh-huh. together, mm-hmm. we didn't go anywhere. We didn't leave the bed. <laughs> 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 we did go to the kitchen and replenish, but we didn't leave the bed that that first year. <laughs> <laughs> but the second year, I could actually walk. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. We were busy. Yes. I'll say that. Yeah. We got busy. Yeah. And we were busy getting busy. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 you and I did not go out a lot. We still don't. However. But, but anyway. Yeah. However, that year, we decided to go out for New Year's. Mm-hmm. Oh, this was so interesting, yet so juicy and so satisfying that yeah. this happened. <gasps> yeah. All right. I had not seen my ex in maybe like six months. Uh, I had heard, you know, that she was scraping the bottom of the barrel. And I heard. she did. I didn't know for sure. <laughs> and she still is. <laughs> we went out. We was having a good time, right? Mm-hmm. Turn around. She's wait, wait, wait. Describe what, what I was wearing. Oh my good New well, Year's Eve, mind you. You had on some hot pants, mm-hmm. short, mm-hmm. short hot pants, 
and you had some thigh high boots on. Mm-hmm. They were ridiculous. They had a gold heel. I'll never forget it. They they did permanent damage to my feet. I'm <laughs> convinced. <laughs> and and you had on um what what kind of it's, it was that corset print. Uh, well, bustier, bustier type okay. thing. Yes, you had a bustier and on. a choker around and a my choker, neck, yes. and really big hair and nails and Just stuff. Hot. I'm <laughs> serious. You look so good, and we seen her there, and she had on. I know Just she. Say it. I know she wanted number jacket clothes. <laughs> if she could have found a church pew to crawl under, <laughs> she would have. <laughs> she had she on, on Birkenstocks. Oh my god, jeans and a um. Some kind of like a lumberjack shirt or something. Okay, that's okay if you're butch or a stud, but she was supposedly feminine. It, it was horrible. I, I I personally won't step out and go across the street to the mailbox yeah. the way she was dressed. She was, it was bad. But that's just me. There's nothing <laughs> against that. But if you're feminine. She was definitely caught off guard. Because you know what? I had never seen her dress like that when she was with me, but I don't know. I mean... She's seen you, and that was a punch in the gut. But she did not know that I knew that she was with... Gutter rat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, gutter rat. She was with gutter rat, so that was a a double punch in the stomach. Mm-hmm. And... That you were with me, and yeah. she was with her. Yeah, it was... It was uh, Ouch. Yeah. And you know what? But to me, I was just so elated. To see that and to see the surprise on her face, I just... Oh, you puffed that, up. That was pure satisfaction. You puffed up. I did. <laughs> you did. Did I puff up? You did. I loved it. Even more so than normal. <laughs> I had to. I had to puff up. Oh, but it's not... We're not over. <sighs> Something else happened. That night... Was it that night? Yes, it was that night. Oh, my goodness. Your ex comes in the same bar mm-hmm. and you Stares go us text. down. So what happened? Stares us down. And then we're okay. It was close, almost closing time when we actually yeah. saw her. Right. And then we are walking to the car, and she tries to run over us <laughs> in her car. Yeah, she tries to run over us. I owe her an ass whooping for that one. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I owe She's... her an ass whooping. I was not the reason <laughs> for your break. No, absolutely. I was not, not the reason nope. for that. You know what I mean? Nope. <laughs> She's just mad because her chick chose me. <laughs> you're funny <laughs> but you know what i i um i can um relate to wanting to sort of win you know especially when um you know you were wrong in a relationship right right so i think that's just like a natural thing to want but i think it's human pe- nature yeah it's human nature and and uh people want to you know be friends with their ex just to keep tabs on them Definitely. But you know what? Also, you will have that ex that will just pop up out of nowhere. And normally, or I've had this happen, they will, you won't talk to them for a while, but then they'll make up some kind of excuse to call you about something. Oh, like the restaurant uh, recommendations. Yeah, yeah. Can you tell me what's the best restaurant to go to for? Any excuse to call. Yeah, anything. Are you serious? There's only 150,000 restaurants in Knoxville. Yes, you know, yeah, they do s- dumb stuff like mm-hmm. that, you know, or reason, or you, or if y'all shared a dog, you haven't let me see that dog in a while or whatever, That's you know. Funny. I've I've seen people that share pets and they'll purposely want to argue about the pet that they had together and just so they can see the other person. It's just petty and ridiculous. Yeah. But. No pun intended. It happens. <laughs> um, <laughs> you crazy? You said no pun intended. <laughs> you are so crazy. Um, what other experience have you had with exes? Hmm. I haven't had that many exes. You know that. I know you haven't. That's rare, though. You know what? Honey? I know. I know. But my relationships were so long. I know. And yeah, I'm. I'm going. You. Here. You just spilled my tea. So I'm sorry. <laughs> those basically I'm sorry. was the worst things that happened. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, babe. Uh, well, there was one that oh, just did keep in touch with her ex, but she didn't think I knew it, but I did. He <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. 
Well, it's a long story. Well, let's do another podcast on that. Okay, we can do that. Okay. All right, we can do that. The best thing to do is just not, um, you know, don't be trying to compare yourself. No. To your Still be ex. true to yourself. Yeah. And don't put yourself in uh, compromising situations yeah. with, with your ex. I mean, no, I'm not saying ever that that's a bad thing to ever be friends with your ex because obviously there was something there that you loved about them, you liked about them, right? I do believe that exes, that people that were once in a relationship can truly just be friends after a breakup. If you're totally over each other, you if know you what I mean? If you take the time to heal from yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you're totally over each other, there's no hard feelings, mm -hmm. it didn't end badly, mm -hmm. yes. And a lot of times it does happen. Yeah, and you can end up laughing. If you, if you here's what I learned that forgiveness means. Mm -hmm. When you stop wanting that other person to hurt because they hurt you, then right. you are totally over them. Yeah, that's right. When you want to stop trying to pay them back. That's right. That's right. When you stop wanting to try to You're pay over them. them. That's right. You have forgiven them. Then maybe you can laugh about the breakup or what happened. That's when you know you can be friends. Yes, when you know you can be friends. Absolutely. That's it. Bottom line. And a lot of times you can probably go back and laugh about a lot of things yep. that happened between you guys. You know? I, I, I just didn't like, this is what I don't like about that, is when the your new girlfriend and her ex get together and kind of, talk about you and say things they wouldn't want you to hear that's right now that's wrong that's what i don't like yeah that's that's that is wrong. if that's your wrong. lover won't defend you in anybody whether it be their ex or whatever mm -hmm. if they say things they don't want you to hear that's not a good thing that's right it is not a good thing don't walk happening. run from that person <laughs> i left that you situation i've never looked back you are crazy. You know what? <laughs> That's true. That is true because I would never even, you know me, mm -hmm. I would never even dabble in that. I no wish somebody I would try that. to say something bad about me to you. They better not ever do that because it's it's just not right, and they don't care about you mm -hmm. if they're entertaining anything like that. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, once you grieve the loss and you, you get over it and you learn from it, absolutely you can be friends with your ex you know so it happens and let's see what else we want to say before we end the show i want to say that we do have a um drag queen that is um very famous in the new york city area her name is harmonica sunbeam is going to be on the show uh this month Yay. and we're going to announce uh the exact date in our next uh podcast um, you know, so you guys can enjoy her. You can Google her. She's got all kinds of pictures and uh, videos. That's going to be a fun show. Nice. And then we have Kevin Farrell that's going to be on the show as well. That's going to be this month. And then we're also going to be wrapping up season one. Oh, of, that's uh, exciting. Same Sex Dialogue. We have been going strong. I can't believe we almost got 30 shows. So we're going to do... Um, this is the 22nd show, so we got eight more uh, in episodes season. in this season. And we're going to be wrapping it up and going to be starting a new season in June. I'm so, so excited about season two because we have a great subject. <laughs> we have it's a, a bunch surprise. of great subjects. <laughs> it's a surprise. I can't tell you now, but we will tell you. Probably we'll Maybe let the so cat crazy. out of the bag in May, right? Yes. Yay. Yes, and we're going to take a little vacation in May. So, um, And then we're going to come back and, and push hard for season two. And like I said, for those that are just now joining us, um, go back and listen to other, other episodes. You will enjoy those. We've had a great time. We always laugh and try to talk about more serious subjects. Anything about the LGBTQ community, but also um, just uh, – Anybody that anybody can actually relate to, right, babe? Yeah, yeah. We um, have a lot more of that stuff coming up. It's talking about different things, but we are still going to keep it light, keep it fun, and um, 
Who else? Oh, we have Kelly Absher coming up, too. Yeah, your friend Kelly Absher. Yes, yes that's going to be a Talking fun. Talking about gay, gay issues for guys growing up in the Bible Belt. Yeah, that's going to be a high-energy show mm-hmm. and a good show. So mm-hmm. um, look forward to that. Um, and before we go, I'd like to say, baby, I love you. I love you more. That's the end of our show. Don't you dare leave without going to iTunes to subscribe and leave us a five-star review. Ciao, baby.